sir, can you describe your experience? You know you're the center of the universe. It all comes to you. Who are they? Experience the Sky Plus phenomenon. watching Sky News in a moment a special program about the war against terror but first the day's top stories. The editor of the Sunday Express says its chief reporter Yvonne Ridley's aim into crossing into Afghanistan was to report as an unbiased bystander the terrible problems faced by the country. She was captured by the Taliban and has now been accused of spying. This report from Sky's Colin Brazier in the Pakistani capital Islamabad. Diplomatic pressure on the Taliban to free British journalist Yvonne Ridley is growing. Pakistan's government is believed to be putting pressure on the Taliban to release her. If they have done so, then I think it is only reasonable that they should uh, uh, return their journalists. Uh, uh, otherwise, your whole community will further turn against them. The Sunday Express reporter was detained just inside Afghanistan. A Taliban official said she was not carrying travel documents and had entered the country illegally. Her mother has been speaking to the cameras about the incident. Yvonne, I know you're strong, and I know um, that you'll probably be laughing at me, uh, and we just want you home as quickly as possible, because we love you and miss you. British diplomatic officials hope Yvonne Ridley will not be used as a bargaining chip or human shield by the Taliban, who already hold eight Western aid workers on charges of promoting Christianity. Their trial resumes later this weekend. As are aid missions to Afghanistan, the United Nations sending 200 tons of food and other supplies to the north of the country. The UN is still planning for a worst-case scenario, which would see up to 8 million Afghans affected by food shortages. It admits right now numbers heading from Afghanistan to the Pakistani border are relatively small. It's difficult to say, one could imagine hundreds, perhaps a thousand a day, once again, people coming across. But the UN says that could rise to hundreds of thousands with war and winter looming in Afghanistan. Colin Brazier, Sky News, Islamabad. The United Nations hopes to start work next week on the first phase of emergency sites to accommodate refugees. It says the task is difficult because many of the locations are in tribal areas largely outside of government control. More than a million people are expected along the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. The military build-up in the region is continuing. The Royal Navy has now sent a nuclear-powered submarine. It's armed with cruise missiles. The Taliban, meanwhile, has agreed to more talks with Pakistan over America's demand that Afghanistan hand over Osama bin Laden. In other news, Israeli soldiers killed three Palestinians and wounded more than 100 in an upsurge of violence across the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Officials on both sides warned plans for a ceasefire agreed on Wednesday are in danger of collapse. The jailed serial killer Rose West is to drop the appeal against her conviction for her part in the House of Horror Murders. In a statement, she maintains her innocence. It says she is ready to spend the rest of her life in prison. And briefly, a rather dismal start to many places, but in the southeast, it will stay bright. Now on Sky News, a special program. It's 19 days since the shocking terrorist attacks in America, which killed up to 6,000 people. Immediately, President Bush declared that the United States was at war. Sky's Michael Sullivan looks back now at the devastating events of September the 11th and how the United States and its allies have embarked on a war against terrorism. Mm -hmm.